Let's talk about how team natural habits like co-washing are not originally made by black women and <laughs> I have proof for you. But before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe here to my channel, click on that bell notification and give this video a thumbs up whenever you begin to make the connections. Now first, why do we shampoo? Well, your hair is broken down into three different sections, the hydrogen bond, the disulfide bond, and the salt bond. And right now I am breaking the hydrogen bond in her hair. I am removing well I have removed the install from my client's hair and the install had been in for about two months so in this appointment I am detoxifying her scalp removing dead skin cells and preparing her hair for her next style but one question that I always get is like why come nobody ever said anything about oils not belonging on the scalp and co-washing being bad well you guys we have been saying it in the professional realm for years years and today I'm gonna prove it to you because just like cutting hair wet like the whole curly cut things did not originate with black women that originated in the Caucasian salon so did co-washing and I can prove it to you because co-washing did not start with black women at all it started in 2016 with wind cleansing conditioner and the reason that it's no longer on the market or the reason that it's no longer promoted and not making that much money is because the FDA put out a warning against co-washing conditioner in 2016 but because you guys don't know anything about it they were able to surpass everything and because there's already an FDA warning out they can make co-washing conditioners and you guys can use them free and nobody can come back and sue them you know why all of the information has already been out there and you guys decided to surpass everything that professionals were telling you to do but let's look at what happened when people use when conditioner so as you can see the pictures that you are looking at are not women of color in any way shape or form well a few of them are but for the majority of these clients or the majority of the people that were experiencing this hair loss were not people with naturally curly hair right when was created by a man that was not um somebody who had brown skin or curly hair right and this was a product targeted towards um people with straighter hair co-washing was not something that was developed for the curly hair community it is not something that was made up by a black woman in any way shape or form this is something that was closed out in 2016 but the most people who are making team natural content are about in their early 20s right so if you're in your early 20s you don't even know you weren't even old enough to buy liquor when this was going on but this looks really similar doesn't it again these were not women of color experience in this but the women conditioner was something that you didn't need shampoo and they were like shampoos are bad shampoos break off your hair sulfates are bad like the same exact thing that the team natural community has been toting for these over a decade is the same exact thing that started with when co-washing conditioner but again this is why over the years so many cosmetologists like myself have been so strongly against team natural practices so strongly against co-washing so strongly against no sulfates and things of that nature it did not start because black women were figuring out how to do their hair no it started because on social media people figured out that as long as as you can trigger an emotion through, for people and as long as you can make them feel like you had a solution for them they can bottle up anything they can promote anything and people will run out and buy it it's just as simple as that so when I have intensity and when I'm not open to debate and when I'm not open for discussion going back and forth on the way that I feel about team natural stuff is because there are things that you guys don't even know or things that you guys haven't been able to make a connection with so this client that is at my chair right now the 
pieces on her hairline the shorter pieces that's all new hair there was a time where that part was skin bald and even though she wears extensions the way that she wears extensions keeps her from getting follicle infections so you saw what happened with the people with wind cosmetics so now look at the scalps of black women now in 2024 and 2023 and since 2016 look at it it's exactly the same and the common denominator is co-washing putting extra oils and butters in your hair and all of these different things now when you research what happened with when in 2016 the fda put out something that said that you will cause scalp inflammation follicle death and so many other things if you omit sulfates and the things that properly remove and kill the natural forms of bacteria that live on the scalp make sure you check the video that i posted yesterday link in the description box below where i give you the names of 20 out of a thousand different forms of bacteria that live on the human scalp but again look at 2024 versus 2016 and in the comments right now let me know do you see the similarities Mm -hmm. it is because black women have been saying i'm not going to use shampoos anymore all i'm going to use is co-wash and conditioners or apple cider vinegar or anything other than shampoo because shampoos are bad so now history is just repeating itself the reason that i've always been so against all of it is because from jump i remember this in 2016 i was 25 and I already have my cosmetology license and I was preaching against team natural practices then but at the time black women didn't have anything to do with that at the time black women were like oh that's crazy co-wash it what I'm not doing that that's crazy but now things are different and now things have changed they've really really changed and I make the videos that I make to show you guys the difference so that way you can go back and you can do the research for yourself now this video is old i am no longer behind the chair i did it for over a decade and as you guys can see i've proven to you this has been a, a fight or a conversation a battle a dilemma within the industry for a really long time and it's 2024 i just showed you guys that in 2016 women of other races were doing it so as a licensed cosmetologist in the state of nevada you can understand how i feel right because all of my clients were not african-american so all of my clients that were not african-american that were getting on the co-washing trend the same way that i'm telling you guys not to do it i was telling them the difference is they were not angry they were not argumentative it was just like okay you're right i'm not using it anymore and now nobody hears about wind conditioner and most women with naturally straight hair would never co-wash again because they've already been through that so when you see people um saying all the time like oh dermatologists are rude or dermatologists it's because they're so tired you guys if i've been dealing with it since 2016 with the wind um co-wash and conditioner with women from other races trust and believe dermatologists have been dealing with it too and imagine the feeling of going to um school to medical school for over a decade just to get out and go back and forth with women of different races about co-washing all the time like one decade is one race and another decade is a whole another race where in reality the only thing that you have to do to maintain a healthy scalp is shampoo your hair and remove the bacteria from your scalp so now we're using a dandruff shampoo on her hair and this is because she does have scalp inflammation so let's talk about it within the hair's follicle there is a sebaceous gland that releases sebum there is a sweat gland that releases sweat and the hair shaft the cuticle is made up of dead hair cells and with those dead cells they are dying off and falling off within the cuticle so they also need to make their way out but what you're 
looking at right now is a picture of folliculitis. Folliculitis is a form of a scalp disorder that is developed when a certain form of bacteria is able to colonize on the scalp. It's able to colonize when the hair is not shampooed properly like co-washing or when the head is completely saturated with butters and oils. Whether an oil can penetrate or not, it is not supposed to be on the scalp because it feeds all of the many many organisms that are on the scalp there are uh, hundreds of different forms of bacteria and yeast that live on the scalp and their favorite food is oil so when you are not properly shampooing the scalp and when you are adding oils and butters what you are actually doing is allowing all of these bacteria and forms of yeast to colonize and when you do that you make it hard for the natural oils the natural oil that is being produced within your sebaceous gland you make it hard for it to come out and this is where you get all of the flakiness. This is the sebaceous gland. The sebaceous gland is the gland within your body that produces sebum, which is the natural oil that coats the hair shaft before it pokes out of the pore. And if you leave butters and, and oils and grease, grease is 10 times worse than oil. What you do is you feed that bacteria and it begins to colonize on the scalp. Now, sometimes you can get away with we're doing it for 20 years and then one day the bottle pops and then you just balding out of nowhere or you could be a person that it happens to right away within the first couple of hours people it happens within the first couple of months but this is the reason that so many women with naturally curly hair have so much scalp inflammation and are dealing with so much balding it is so important that we understand now you know all of the flakes in the scalp that is not dry scalp it's oily scalp and when you have oily scalp with something like cerebral dermatitis or dandruff, you throw off your skin cell turnover cycle. So instead of every 28 days, those skin cells dying and falling off is messing up the cycle so they're dying off and falling off every seven days every two days instead of every 28 days which is why you will notice all of the flaking and things of that nature on the scalp but it is not because the scalp is dry there is always oil being produced within the sebaceous gland unless you do something wrong to throw off the cycle or unless there is something going on internally but you will calcify the sebaceous gland and cause permanent follicle death if you don't change certain things and that's just how it goes so as you are looking at her hair the little pieces that you see those are not single strand knots that is hair that has shed but because your hair is curly sometimes they link on to each other and it's not a big deal she is not going to have any type of balding or anything like that right now she is getting a masterful scalp treatment all right like this video has been shortened up just a little bit but as you can can imagine this has to be a good shampoo because it wasn't like a five minute one all right this shampoo after I scrubbed it um after I went ahead and massaged her scalp really well it set on her scalp for an additional five minutes to begin to break down some of those dead skin cells right and that is something that is so important when it comes to curly hair and this is one of the most important steps that we are skipping over shampooing the hair saying okay I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar well I'll have you know that apple cider vinegar is not powerful enough to kill the types of bacteria and to prevent the bacteria and the forms of yeast that are on the scalp from colonizing it is not powerful enough this this is why you'll notice that a lot of people who have locks who only use uh, apple cider vinegar and things of that nature once they get to a certain age you'll notice that their locks will start thinning out right so these are things that I really want you guys to pay attention to within my seven day challenge right I make it so easy and so simplistic I believe in my heart in like all honesty that you guys have been brainwashed to believe that caring for your hair is so complicated instead of just taking a shampoo 
and completely saturating your hair with water for about two minutes making sure your scalp is soaking wet your hair is soaking wet using about a dime about a quarter size amount of shampoo and really really saturating the scalp removing dead skin cells and doing that about three times and then replacing anything that could have been taken from the shampoo with the conditioner the conditioner replaces it and and gives it a little bit more off and makes the hair and the cuticle at a place where it is able to receive moisture from the environment because the only place that your hair receives moisture from is the environment and from the water that you drink but the moisturizing conditioner that you use is not that the conditioner is moisturizing your hair it is making your hair a favorable environment to be able to receive and hold on to the moisture that it gets from the environment and release it when it needs to let it go that's how it goes when it comes to hair we never do anything that permanently locks the cuticle that permanently locks the hair shaft because anytime you get a, a product or a service that permanently locks the hair shaft down the line the people always get damaged from it long term keratin treatments keratin treatments is something that is only for a person who's washing their hair every day every day every other day a person who is going swimming all the time then okay you can get a character treatment do i recommend it absolutely not but if that's what you want to do you can however if you have a low porosity hair you will have broken hair falling out in clumps within the first six months of a character treatment with low porosity hair this is why again just like co-washing co-washing was made to look like it's something that somebody just created it just came up with when it was really made up in about 2016 all right that's in, in 2016 so you guys i really want you to think about it in that way because long term the things that you guys do to your hair it ends up hurting and i want you to start looking at trends when they have a new product when there is a new blow dryer any new tool don't be the first person to go out there and get it give it about three four months and then see how much hype there is around it just like the Rivera blow dryer mm, about six seven months ago right now it is february 12th 2024 but about what six months ago seven months ago is all anybody was talking about and it was just the best thing since sliced bread now it's the prices went from five hundred dollars to now you can get it on ebay and on amazon in some places for about 80 less than 100 bucks that is because it's all about money and the more they can divert your mind away from the science and the more that they can put a bridge or a divide between you and the person who actually went to school to learn the information, the better things will be for them. And so that's something that I'm always teaching on my channel because you don't have to listen to me. But if you listen to the science and if you follow the patterns as scientists like myself do, then you'll be able to make these connections. That's why I wanted to come on here and show you this video, not just to show you like a bomb shampoo, right? Not just to do that, right? Not just to show you how to shampoo your hair, but so I can give you guys a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So you can visually see like two races of women doing the same thing getting the same result one group of women stopped doing that and then now they don't have that problem here today but but the other group of women will not let it go they're fighting and and being uh combative and arguing and cussing each other out to hold on to something that the person or the group of people that made it up have already stopped the fda has already had already had warnings against co-washing i'm not against co-washing and washing goes because oh i'm jealous of natural creators no this is something that i've been doing for well over a decade this is something that i have been working against for a really long time all right 
So now her scalp is completely clarified and she is getting a deep conditioning treatment. The conditioner that I am using on her head is formulated to not necessarily go on the scalp but not to clog the follicles right because she is a person who does like to have her hair out and her scalp exposed it is something that protects her scalp without clogging her pores and her follicles and again i am not it may look like it but i am not rubbing the product into her scalp but the base of her roots and there is a difference but the only types of conditioners and shampoos that i do rub into the base of the oh not shampoos conditioners that I rub into the base of the hair shaft are ones that will not block the pores or the follicles there are some that I only do from mid shafts to ends if you guys want me to do a full sit down video on um the products and stuff that I use then let me know in the description box below but again this is not a regular shampoo but a deep scalp exfoliation right so again the products that i use are not like just normal conditioners you do not just put conditioners on the scalp that's not how it goes all right if you want more information on that make sure you check the video links in the description box below for all of that information because it's very very self-explanatory but if you don't listen to anything that i say please wash your hair please wash your hair please shampoo your hair think about it like we're we're layering the hair with more products and washing the hair less and wondering why our hair is thinning out wondering why we have scalp inflammation when the norm is to wash or at least cleanse the scalp once a week and you only do it once a month or once every six months and then once every six months i had clients that only did it once every six months but you also have people who will say oh I, i'm not washing my hair I only wash my hair once every three months down the line you are going to have scalp inflammation and this is in black versus white or this race versus this race no this is common sense man if you have colonizing bacteria that naturally live on your scalp to keep the natural bacteria environment of your scalp healthy your only job is to make sure that they have a clean environment just like your only job one of your main jobs in your house is to make sure that yeah you pay rent but you want to mop the floors right you want to vacuum you want to clean your toilets right it's the same thing most of us clean our houses more than we clean our scalps and that's a problem it's something that needs to stop and it is the lack of accountability and the lack of cleansing of the follicle that is ends up causing so much scalp inflammation and it's so important you guys it's so important when you when you see a bunch of flakes in your scalp you shouldn't be trying to figure out what product should you use to make the flakes go away you should just go wash your hair if your scalp is itching and burning you shouldn't be trying to figure out what oil you should put on it to keep it from itching or burning go wash your hair okay i love you guys this was her finished product and this is how she wore her hair most of the time because she had a certain regimen that allowed for her scalp and her follicle to breathe okay it was not just oh we're doing hair extensions because she doesn't like her real hair we were giving her hair and her scalp a chance to breathe again all of the like really subtle thinner pieces that you guys are seeing there was no hair there that's all brand new hair so this was the regimen that we followed right just so she could make sure that she had healthy hair and a healthy scalp and that once her hair growth cycle reset it would normally take about three to four months for us to reset the hair growth cycle then everything would be good and we could get right back into her natural hair growth cycle and her hair getting us that inch and a half every month right and she would be able to retain length because she took it out in a very specific way it was installed in a very specific way and there we go so yeah if you guys want to see the full install i'll try to find it i don't know where it is this video is probably only about four years old but i'll try to um 
find it. Oh, four to five years old because she ended up coming in for like a, a project thing that I was having once I had already been retired for like a year. But anyway, let me know in the description box below where you are in your hair journey. Are you a person who has always co-washed or have you been scared of shampoos and conditioners and now you're like piecing it together like, oh my God, that really must be where my scalp inflammation has came from. And in a salon, we don't use cotton towels. We use microfiber towels. So stop using t-shirts because t-shirts made of cotton. It's stupid. Mm.